Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Meaney. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. Today, we are gonna talk about what is an MRI? So this is relevant to us because we're orthopedic surgeons, we read a lot of MRIs, we order a lot of MRIs, we use them to make clinical decisions, and a lot of people don't totally understand exactly what an MRI is. Magnetic resonant image. Okay, so the history of the MRI is very interesting. A guy named Raymond Damadian, New Yorker, Genius. Born and bred in 1936. So this is pre-World War II he was born. No black, it's black and white TV. Black and white TV. And he's thinking, I'm gonna make an MRI. So he's born in 36, ended up going to the, obviously, the Albert Einstein School of Medicine in New York City. Where else are you gonna go? And then in 1977, invented the first um, MRI that could take a full body scan. So what actually is an MRI, Paul? What is, what, what, what is it? Magnetic resonant imaging, it's a way of imaging the body. Um, without using radiation right okay it's a three-dimensional image that you obtain yep uh, so um, you use a computer to obtain this information yep. from magnetic resonance of hydrogen atoms really which yep. is a hydrogen atom is just one electron one proton uh, you excite the atom excite the, the proton yep. as it comes back down again from its excited phase it gives off some radio frequency you capture that radio frequency Manipulate it in a computer and convert that to an image. Exactly. So the tube that you actually go into is a huge magnet. Right. And then often they'll use a tiny little coil that's a radio frequency coil. So the magnet knocks all your protons into perfectly alignment. And then the radio frequency knocks them back into their normal random alignment. And then this emits that energy that can be analyzed for multiple other types of information as well as making this picture. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, quantum mechanics. Yeah, thank you, quantum mechanics. So 1977, so that was only like 45 years ago was the first picture where they did that first full body scan. So 1977, let's talk about 1977. What was happening in 1977? Bell bottoms were probably coming near the end of their glory. Ag agreed. Would you say? Star Wars. Love that show. Yeah, Jimmy Carter as president. As we talked about before, eight is enough. Chips, um, Three's Company, the Apple II computer, Atari. Atari 2600. Pele retired. The Clash released their debut album. So tons of stuff for our viewers. You're going to be like, hey, I totally remember that. I'm watching Jack Tripper <laughs> and Ray's figuring how to excite and align protons to <laughs> give off some radio frequencies. Mr. Furley. Um, okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of, of an MRI. So let's talk about the pros. Why is an MRI a really a good test and a good piece of equipment for us? No radiation. Yes. A lot of people are concerned about the amount of radiation you get from an x-ray or a CT scan, which is very common to discuss. This is non-ionizing radiation. So the other really good thing is it gives high quality detailed images. Compare that to an ultrasound. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Ultrasound, I know, I even, they're no, hard to interpret. Who even gets it? And the other thing is it's non-invasive, so there's no, there's no needles typically unless you're having a dye test, yeah. but typically you're just lying inside of a tube and it's doing it just kind of in the background. Right, you might get a needle if you're having like an MR angiogram where you're yes. looking at vessels or, or if you're- arthrogram. An arthrogram if you're looking at a joint or you might have, and it's, it's gadolinium they inject into your, into your bloodstream. And, uh, sometimes they do that if they're trying to see if a certain mass or lesion is taking up blood. Right. But m most of the time, I'd say you don't get a... Uh, and even the arthrograms now, the MRI is so high resolution that yes. often you don't need to put anything into the joint. And, and originally was used... Um, uh, Raymond Tabadian originally invented it to try to look at cancer cells. He, he felt strongly that the potassium ions had different relaxation times between tumor cells and normal cells, and this is how they used to detect cancer. But we use it looking almost a lot of times at essentially the water content. So, for example, a meniscus is a common thing that we look at in MRI. And a meniscus on certain images looks whiter if there's fluid in, in a tear. Mm -hmm. So they can say, oh, this is an inconsistency in the homogeneity of the picture. This represents something that's abnormal. Right, shows up water. Water. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about the pros. What are some of the cons of an MRI? Expensive. It's it is expensive. expensive. So expensive access technology. to it. So not every hospital has one, um, and they're expensive to generate. Access in our country, and some countries yes. are quite readily available, yes. but in our country, access is a little bit of a challenge still. I mean, not impossible. It's just the wait is a bit longer than you'd think. Right. Um, I think so on the, along the same lines, access. How about access to the tube? Ooh, yeah, if you're claustrophobic, you're going into a small tube where you're going to be get, getting magnet sort of putting in a magnetic field right. so it can't be miles away because radiation falls off as r to the squared r. so the farther you get that's square that distance that's how much radiation falls off the magnetic field falls off so you have to be close to the magnet right so 
So you don't have to be scared. But some people do require medication to relax yeah. or to reduce their anxiety. It's something deal. to be aware of. But yeah, it's it, kind of loud too in there. It can yeah, kind of pop, 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 pop. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's a bit annoying. Sometimes they give you headphones nowadays. You can listen to music, right. watch a movie, whatever. Um, okay, so that's, that's those are your whatever. cons, right? Yeah, that's your cons. Um, but it's a, it's a very, very useful test. I mean, all the tests that we order are used kind of together, but an MRI often provides a definitive answer for more specific stuff, particularly in the soft tissues for us as orthopedic right. surgeons. However, not huh? always required, which we will talk about in another video. Yeah, subsequent video we're going to talk about why is my doctor not ordering an MRI? Okay, so if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, send it to someone who wants to know about MRIs or is maybe having an MRI. Or someone who's worried about what is an MRI. Yeah, or someone who's lived in 1977. Thank you, Ray. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time. Is Ray still around? Oh, of note, actually we lost Ray August 3rd of this year. So um, that's actually a significant event. Um, yeah, thanks for your contribution yeah. to modern medicine for sure. We'll take a moment of silence after this. Okay.